Hello everyone, with Cyberpunk's Phantom Liberty DLC coming out, uh, you may have noticed that GFN did not have it on the day of release. That's because the amazing people out there were been trying to debug a few things and I got the announcement that it is officially live. So just wanted to show you that on Steam I can play it. It was grayed out initially. Also the Epic Game Store version is available. Gog was the first one, but all three are available to play, so you can go ahead and jump in. Now, this is mainly for people who own Cyberpunk and pre-ordered um, Phantom Liberty on Steam version. And so I just wanted to give you a few things that you'll need to do as a Steam player. First of all, if you are the on the ultimate tier, uh, there is a thing you'll need to go into your settings right here. Scroll all the way down and make sure the in-game graphics settings is turned off. And then when we launch the game, uh, let me make sure it's on Steam. Let's go ahead and launch in. There's going to be a few other things that we need to do as well. And um, all the instructions, if it was very hard to follow, definitely check the description below. There will be a link to a forum post that you can then follow if you need to. All right, we'll go ahead and go into your collections here. And notice that here there's an install option. But before we do that, Make sure if you go right click, go into properties, go to DLC, both of these are checked, especially the Phantom um, Liberty one. Make sure those are checked. It should be, but just in case, make sure that's what the instruction says. And then click on install. We'll go ahead and install that. We're going to accept. Should only take about 10 minutes, but um, let's go ahead and I'll see you in a little bit once the download is complete. All right, so now we are done. We can go ahead and click on play, and there is one more thing that we will need to do. So let's go ahead and boot this up, and then you should be good to go. As we're loading in, yes, this might sound a little bit weird that GFN has something that you have to install, but again, uh, the GFN team has been hard at work behind the scenes um, trying to troubleshoot a few things, and this is a solution and they said that uh, once you do this you won't have to do this again once you load up your next session so this is just going to be just a minor inconvenience but again uh, shouldn't affect you on your future playthroughs so as soon as we load in um, i'll show you the next steps that we have to do all right so now that we're in the things before you press continue or start a new game make sure you go to your settings then go to gameplay up here and then go find HD, um, HDD right here and make sure that is set to off. And that should be it. Again, um, in your next session, it shouldn't affect anything. Uh, you won't have to do the reinstall and all that. But yes, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Again, check the description down below if you have any questions. Definitely post a comment if you have more questions and I'll try to answer them as best you can. Alright, have a good one and enjoy Summer Punk Fandom Liberty.